Starting out with the plan for my floating nightstand. The top 1322 from the front showing my drawer. Hopefully I'm gonna do a little cutout so I can pull it in and out. On the back I'm gonna inset the backer board so I can put a French cleat to hang it on the wall. So I want it hopefully 22 long. So I'll hit two studs. Doesn't matter where the studs are. Put in the receiving end of that cleat. So it'll be on the wall real well. And uh, that's what I'm starting with. So I'm going to pick up my wood and start cutting. And tape up marker. Taping up the box. It's real nice when you can see it's a shape. some epoxy on there I'm thinking. I'll tape it up and then glue it up. One glued up and one it's already dried so we're gonna do some fill with some putty. You know, sand everything down. I'm gonna do some epoxy. Fill up the cracks and things. Sharp when they're done, but two floating nightstands. Alright, so I use my sander dust, use some wood glue, and then you mix it till it's not a little bit runnier than just a paste, but then it's going to be the same color as the wood that you're cutting, so then you can fill some gaps. So I'm just running it across the seams, and then that way when I sand it, everything will be flush. Here I'm getting ready to do some epoxy. I'm going to be filling up these cracks just to level and then I'm going to sand it off. And then when that dries, I got some side ones to do. But you have a stir stick, something to fill up that you can probably, you know, don't want to throw away when you're done. You have your uh, two part epoxy. I get the tabletop, it's nice and clear. And then have a hair dryer handy or a heat gun because you're going to want to hit that with heat when you're done to bring the bubbles up to the top. So here we go. I do even amounts. So just kind of go by the lines. I'm not going to need a ton for this.
Make sure to mix that really good for a few seconds. Where did my stick go? Found it. So I just have a wooden doll. Mix that up. All right, after it's set for about three minutes, see all the air bubbles coming to the top, so you don't want to re-agitate it too much. Nice, smooth stirs. You don't want to put too much air into the mixture. Once it's done, take that out and set it down. Like I said, I probably made way too much, but just want to put enough in the cracks. They fill up. I don't want to make too much sanding for myself. You can already see the color of the wood, what it's going to be. Oops. Right down in there. Hopefully my tape holds up underneath. Again, this is for a floating nightstand done in one of my other videos. But I figured I'd just do a whole video on applying epoxy. Now that I'm pouring this out, I might have made enough. First, I think it was too much, but I'm thinking it will be good. These cracks run all the way through. So after we get it poured in, let's make sure tape is holding up. I don't have any leaks. There we go. Let that settle in for a minute and then we'll hit it with the hair dryer. Okay, I got my hair dryer. I put on a low, hot. You can just watch the bubbles come to the surface. And pop them off. Let's just make sure you get a nice clear coat.
that in the stone. 